1998, less than two weeks after the bombing of the U.S. embassies in Tanzania and Kenya, which killed more than 200 people and wounded thousands in a single day, President Bill Clinton announced that he was going after Osama bin Laden. Today, I ordered our armed forces to strike at terrorist-related facilities in Afghanistan and Sudan because of the imminent threat they presented to our national security. Our target was terror. Our mission was clear, to strike at the network of radical groups affiliated with and funded by Osama bin Laden, perhaps the preeminent organizer and financier of international terrorism in the world today. President Clinton commanding American warships to fire cruise missiles at suspected al-Qaeda sites in Afghanistan and Sudan, firing from a distance and not getting the man they were aiming at. In 2001, President George W. Bush got word of the second plane hitting the World Trade Center towers in New York City while he was reading a book to school kids in Florida. President Bush went to New York while it was still very much smoking. He announced that he would get the person responsible for the attacks, and then he kept on saying it. I want justice. And uh, uh, there's an old poster out west, as I recall, that said, wanted, dead or alive. Four weeks after 9-11, the U.S. invaded Afghanistan, first taking out the Taliban government that had sheltered bin Laden and that he had propped up, and then pinning al-Qaeda, and some thought bin Laden himself, in the mountainous caves of Tora Bora. But bin Laden was said to have escaped, that time across the border into Pakistan. And then we started the war in Iraq. So now we have 9-11, nearly 3,000 lives. And we've had two wars in which we've now lost more than 6,000 American lives. What we did not have all this time was Osama bin Laden. And so they started to play him down. You know, again, I don't know where he is. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I repeat what I said. I truly am not that concerned about him. Six years since the tragedy of September the 11th, uh, we haven't seen another attack. This is a man on the run in a cave who's virtually impotent other than his ability to get these messages out. It's propaganda. I guess if you can't catch him, just make it seem like you're not really trying to anyway. Never mind how much you used to say you were hell-bent on it or the occasional video message from his proverbial cave or his Pakistani mansion. Three years ago, as a presidential candidate, then-Senator Barack Obama made a point of saying repeatedly that he did take Osama bin Laden seriously. He thought it was important to kill him, and he would get it done. He would pursue Osama bin Laden as a top-tier priority, even if it meant crossing international borders, even if it meant rattling our shaky alliance with Pakistan. If we have Osama bin Laden in our sights and the Pakistani government is unable or unwilling to take them out, then I think that we have to act and we will take them out. We will kill bin Laden. We will crush Al Qaeda. That has to be our biggest national security priority. Biggest. We will kill bin Laden. We will kill bin Laden. And then finally, after all these years, the news late on a Sunday night. They killed Osama bin Laden. They took At custody my direction, of his body. The United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. You could be forgiven, you would be forgiven uh, the night they killed bin Laden for putting down your homework or your TV remote or whatever and running to the White House and say, climbing a tree and singing the national anthem with a thousand strangers. You've waited a long time for this. Some of the people I was out there with at the White House last night have waited half their lives. I don't know what it means at this point in history that American forces have killed Osama bin Laden. I don't know what it means necessarily for foreign policy or military policy or even domestic politics. I do know that America promised a decade ago to bring Osama bin Laden to justice. And in these pictures, you can see some of how Americans feel now about our country keeping that promise. Three, pro three presidents said they would bring him to justice. Finally, one of them did it.